The Atari Creep YouTube channel is intended for a mature audience. Regardless of the subject matter, this video may contain strong language, simulated violence, and lots of psychological nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, Creepers and Geekers Chris, the Atari Creep House. Everyone doing today? Guys, I just picked up something something so spectacular so amazing something so fucking beautiful it's one of those things that you know it didn't cost a lot of money it was three dollars you know it doesn't take much to keep me happy but i saw it on marketplace last night and i just it, it brought tears to my eyes it was such a beautiful thing that i absolutely had to have it and it's funny because the guy i picked it up from it was all like my buddies were looking at and they were making fun of me about this specifically before posting it, saying no one's ever gonna he goes in and you like within 20 minutes. I'm like, yeah, you know, well, I'm not I'm not weirdo. So it's not necessarily a video game. It's not I don't know if I would even call it a fucking toy. But either way, let me focus on the road. Let me get home safely and we'll we'll have <laughs> this thing's so great. We'll have a look at it when we get home. And you can make fun of me all you want in the comments because I get it. I get it. I totally get it. This thing here, I guarantee you, is going to end up in a lot of fucking landfills. Chris sees it, shit like this, and it's like, it's beauty's in the eye of the beholder, I suppose. That's the lesson to be taken from this. <laughs> so here's what the hubbub's all about. <laughs> it's a fucking pencil sharpener. Guys, this thing is so amazing. I can't wait to show this to you. If you haven't seen one of these yet, I didn't know this existed because I don't follow the Loot Crate unboxing shit. It's my understanding Loot Crate's going out, so I don't know. I'm surprised people are still doing unboxings, but um, I think if I researched it properly, this came out this past October in the Undead or Dead-ish box. Um, came with a Nosferatu pin and a couple of things like that. I don't care about Loot Crate. I'm not going to give these guys $30, $40. Um, so that I could get like one item like this every three boxes that I'll actually enjoy. You know what I mean? I'll wait for you guys to get sick and tired of this shit piling up and put it on the uh, on the marketplace for three dollars. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, but either way, let's open this thing up. I mean, the box itself is pretty cool. Aside from it collecting greasy fingerprints, um, it's got kind of a wood grain pattern to it. <clears throat> But we don't care about that. Let's open the box up. You'll have to excuse the weird angle here. Um, I just could not get any of the light to to, to jive for me here. Um, so we got... Okay, so this must be the lid. So we'll, we'll worry about that later. <laughs> there he is. Guys, it's a fucking pencil sharper. It's a Dracula pencil sharper. Look at the expression on his face. Tell me that's not one of the most amazing things that you've ever seen. Um... I do have a lid for the top here. We're not going to concern ourselves too much with that. Uh, I guess this is where your shaving is going to go. Oh, it comes with pencils too. Look at that. It came with a pencil. So we can test it out and see if it actually works well. You can see inside there. It's just your typical uh, pencil sharpener that you would get with a, a, a school a pencil box or whatever. But what really struck me about this, not only is it a universal monster, um, but the pencil goes right... <laughs> goes right where the stake to his heart would be. That was the gimmick that, that sold it 100%. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is pretty rad to put on the shelf. And it's gonna go on the shelf. Because um, anything Dracula or Frankenstein or any of the like, uh, it's just completely amazing. But <laughs> I just cannot stop looking at this thing and laughing. And I'm not laughing at it, I'm laughing with it. The guy I picked it up from was like, his buddies were making fun of him so much for this one specific thing. And it's the one thing that sold right away. I'm sure I already said that. Let me uh, let me find the little lid thing for you so you get an idea what it looks like completely closed up. All right, there you go. That's cool. All right, enough of that. So I just busted open the pencil it came with, and we're going to see if it actually functions as a... As a oh, it has a really good pencil sharpening feel. Wow, do people review pencil sharpeners online? I bet you there's a I bet you there's a group of people out there that collect pencil sharpeners. They would have to be. If there's people who collect mouse traps and shit like that, um, people collect the weirdest things. But you know what? If it makes them happy, I mean, I, I'm, you know, for us. Look at that. Wow. So okay, not only is it a rad novelty of of, of, of Count Dracula, you get to stab him in the heart with a stake. <laughs> Fucking pencil shop and a 
but it actually sharpens pencils pretty well, to be perfectly honest with you. So it, 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 it's, it's fucking rad and it's functional. Um, there you go, there's all the shavings if you don't know how a pencil sharpener works. I don't know, do kids still use pencils these days? I know the kids here do. I know the kids here do. Uh, and they're, uh, they're in middle school. So that's it. That's, <laughs> that's all I wanted to say. Uh, Dracula pencil sharpener. 10 out of 10 stars if I were to do a, a rating or whatever. This is probably one of the most amazing things I've ever had. One of the most amazing things that I'll forget I even own in like two weeks from now. But I don't know. I'm going to put this up on the shelf with the rest of my monsters. And um, that's all there is to it. Guys, I don't give a fuck. Make fun of me down below. I don't give two shits. This is fucking amazing. But I want your thoughts down below either way. And if you're a loot crate kind of cat, do you have any wacky shit like this that you just absolutely love? Come on, tell me about that. Or even better yet, make a video and let me see it. And I'll uh, I'll share it the next time I make a, I'll make my own video. You know what I mean? And uh, that's really all there is to it. The circle of love. And if we had more of that in this world, then maybe there'd be less bombs flying. And I'm not going to get into give peace a chance and all that because I'm not a, a peace kind of guy. But you get where I'm, I'm going with that. So go ahead and leave feedback. Thumbs up, thumbs down. All feedback too. The creep is positive. Guys, thanks as always so much for watching, especially nonsense like this. Um, yeah, and until next time, I hope you had a great weekend. Take care. Creep it real. And bye-bye. Why won't he focus? There we go.